What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are showcasing the regional bird from Paldea. We got ourselves a Kilowattro team for Regulation H. Now, when it comes to Kilowattro, this Pokemon is really cool. I love its design. It's like a big, fat, derpy looking seagull, right? It's a seagull, correct? I could be wrong. I actually might be wrong. If we have any bird experts, let me know in the comment section down below if Killer Watch was a seagull. Because I, it, it might be, it might not be. I, I'm not a bird expert, but it just looks like a fat seagull to me. I'm from Jersey. I see a lot of seagulls. That's what it looks like. But back to the action, this thing is an electric and flying type Pokemon with competitive as its ability, which is actually really good considering there are a lot of Incineroars in the meta. So if this thing gets intimidated, it's just going to go plus two on special attack, be able to dominate from there. It's also got the Focus Sash as, a, as its item, rocking a Ghost Terra type with Thunderbolt, Air Slash, Tailwind for Speed Control, and last but not least, we have Protect. Another great Pokemon on today's team going to feature Hydreigon. Hydreigon is going to be top tier in Regulation H, especially this one with the Choice Specs making it do a big chunk of damage. It's got Dark Pulse, Draco Meteor, Heat Wave, and Earth Power, a moveset that I absolutely love. Our final four Pokemon on today's team feature straight meta. We got Primarina, Incineroar, Rollboom, and Golden Go. Golden Go and Primarina are going to be there for big time special attacking. Primarina can, can set up with Calm Mind, Golden Go can set up with Nasty Plot, and then Incineroar and Rollboom. I don't even have to talk about them anymore. They're on every team. They're doing Incineroar and Rollaboom things. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match, showcasing this Kilowattro team. Match number one on its way, and we're going up against a dope Titar, Exedrill, and Glyscor team. Now, Exedrill and Titar, a top tier combo, considering we don't have any sort of weather control, but we do have Tailwind, which could really help us out. They also have Driftwind, they got Shift Tree, and then last but not least, they have Gardevoir. Really cool Pokemon coming out here in Regulation H, but how should we play this one? We could lead Incineroar. I mean, Incineroar can be awesome, especially if they go into physical attackers such as Titar, Exedrill, or like T-Tar Gliscor or Excadrill Gliscor. So I think Incineroar is going to be a solid lead for us. We could also end up leading Kilowattro, but Kilowattro is more of like a back end Pokemon considering they have two ground types. So I think Kilowattro late game is going to be a little bit better for us. So I'm going to go into to Incineroar. I'm going to go into Golden Go or Pre. You have Hyper Voice. Show me you have Hyper Voice. You do. Primarina is going to be good. We're going to go Primarina. Maybe try to set up a Calm Mind boost here. Could be amazing for us. So I'll do both of them. I'll go Kilowattro late game. And last but not least, we go Hydreigon or like Golden Go or Rollaboom. Looking at their team, Rollaboom could be pretty solid here. Do you have U-turn as well? Do you have U-turn? I think we're going to go Rollaboom just because of U-turn. U-turn's so nice. It's going to be super effective onto that uh, Gardevoir and same thing onto that Ship Tree. Actually, four times super effective on the Ship Tree. Dark and Grass type. Yeah, U-turn's going to be rocking. U-turn is going to be rocking, but we're going to hope that they're leading physical attackers, such as like T-Tar X Drill, T-Tar Glide Score. Just get off this Intimidate, get some value out of it, and maybe just fake out, set up Calm Mind Boost for my Primarina. Kind of go from there. I know they end up going Drift Limb alongside with Shift Tree, which is okay for us. I mean, I got Intimidate cooking here. And he's probably wants to go for a Tailwind more so than anything. So to be honest, I mean, I could fake out and go for a... Uh, a calm mind boost which i think is my play i mean i have steel terror type which is pretty good so yeah i am gonna fake out the uh the shift tree but he's gonna fake me out first so fake out for fake out no big deal he's gonna go set up a tailwind i'm gonna be able to get up for calm mind here okay cool so chances are pre marina is gonna be attacking me or not pre marina shift tree is gonna be attacking my pre marina so i could terrestrialize or i could protect and then just like party shot in the shift tree that could be pretty good for us. That could be not bad for us, and I'm thinking that's what I want to do here. Or I could just straight up just start attacking. Could flare, but look to dump on you because you're only plus, or you're only even on attack due to intimidate. Yeah, that's good. Um, drift boom could be annoying. I think we just flare, but start ripping into that slot, right? Yeah, let me just protect Primarina. Just play it safe and smart because he's looking at Primarina as like a big threat now that I set up a calm mind. So he probably just wants to target us down. So I'm just gonna protect here. He's gonna explode. Okay. Is that your play this this whole time? Honestly, my Incineroar probably soaks an explosion. Good thing I did protect that turn. Good thing I did protect. They just get rid of their ship tree. But that's a pretty cool combo. Set up the tailwind, get the attack boost, explode, do as much damage, and then get out a different Pokemon. But there goes acrobatics. Out comes a flare blitz from your boy. Honestly, Drift is pretty tanky. 
We do get off great damage, halfing it up. Okay, so depending on who they go into, I might want to swap Incineroar. Incineroar could come out clutch. They're going to go into Gardevoir. I'm hard swapping to Rolboom here. Because they're back in Pokemon. It's got to be. It's a physical attack. It's either Titar, Extra Drill, or Gliscor. So saving Incineroar could be clutch for us. I don't want to go into Kilowatch. We're going to go into go in Rolboom. Just because we have the Assault Vest on him. It'll be really clutch for us. And then from here, plus one Hyper Voice. It'll be really clutch for us. I'm going to do that. See how Roboom can do. Especially because we can fake it out next turn. Or I can just U-turn pivot out of here. Brassy Surge out and about. We love it. We're hoping he's not going for acrobatics into this this slot. But he's going to end up going weakness. Ooh. This is something we don't like. This is something we don't like. Weakness policy unburden. Acrobatics coming out here. Is that the play? Into my Primarina slot. We soak. Beautiful. Love you, Primarina. Love you, Primarina. It also helps how we intimidated it earlier, so it was only plus one. So we get rid of that. We're chilling here with our Primarina. They should only have how many turns left in Tailwind? Maybe one? Actually, two, probably, because he Tailwind set up and then he exploded. Actually, no, he faked out Tailwind set up and then exploded and then did this turn. So there should be one turn left, correct? If it is, I mean, we could just... We could just fake out, or I can hard swap into my Incineroar. Let's see, what do we got here? One turn left in Tailwind, that's fine by me. Um, I know we're not super effective in the guard war. I thought we were. I think just faking out this turn. We could fake out Kali score. I think we just fake out guard war and then we just protect here. Again, wasting out these these uh these what's called turns are gonna be great. Waste out these tailwind turns. So I can protect here, waste out tailwind, then I can just go into like a grassy guide here and look to just rip into this uh guard war. And honestly, fake out doing some nice damage. That's <laughs> some nice fake out damage. We love it. We love it. So bye bye Tailwind. Grass guy can finish off Gardevoir. I'm calm mind boost it. <coughs> I could hard swap an Incineroar if I want to, but I don't think that's the play. Oh, he's Toxic Heal. He's Toxic Heal. That's why I want to protect. That's why you want to protect. Let's go into straight Grass Guide. And if I can, let's just pop Hyper Voice. Super effective. Stab. Plus one. And there goes Grass Guide. Bye bye, Gardevoir. See you later, Gardevoir. And Primarina, you should be able to outspeed Guys He's not that fast, right? No, I guess he is that fast. He's going for Fling here. He's launched his Toxic Orb over to me. I feel you. Kind of stupid, though. Really didn't do much. Poisoned me, but. Okay, you're dead now. <laughs> you're dead now. That's a pretty cool combo right there, though. You poison yourself and then fling your Toxic Orb over. I like it. I definitely do like it, but we one shot the glass no problem. Primarina getting after it in match number one. Moving on to match number two, and we're going up against a Lapras squad. Now, this is what I like to see. Lapras, Pokemon that are off meta like that. I gotta showcase Lapras on the channel, but I think Kilowatts are going to be a great lead for us. I love this Pokemon so much, and we didn't use it in the first match, so I'm all in with using it in this second match. So I'm gonna lead him. I think leading a fake out user could also be good for us. So either Incineroar or Rillaboom. And I'm kind of leaning towards Rillaboom just because it can deal with the uh with the Skelly Dirge. It can deal with the Ferrigarap. It can also deal with the the Cleavor. Actually it's okay up against the Cleavor. But it can deal with the uh Rillaboom as well. So I like Incineroar Kilowatt here for our lead. I like Hydreigon here as well. I think Hydreigon's gonna be good and last but not least do we go Golden Go? Or do we go in with like a Pokemon like Primarina who's a bit more bulkier? Primarina could be good, but I'm going to end up going in with a uh, Golden Go here. With the Metal Coat, big time damage flying out from him. So we're going pretty much all offensive here. Trying to get this Kilowatt set up, trying to get it going. Um, if they do end up leading Lapras, just Thunderbolt's going to be awesome. But I'm really hoping they're going to lead a physical attacker, whether it either be Cleaver or Roll Room, just so we get off some value with our Intimidate. But they got a lot of Pokemon that they can really use here. Brigraph can set up Trick Room. Lapras could be annoying. Lapras isn't as bad as everybody thinks. I think Lapras is so good. I think Lapras deserves a pre-evolution too. I would hate if they make an evolution for Lapras, but Lapras is just so perfect. Like, you don't need a pre-evolution or an after-evolution. It's just so perfect the way it is. And honestly, I was actually uh, scrolling through, like, TikTok. I seen somebody have, like, it might have been five foot tall. It might have been bigger than that. Of a plush of Lapras. Like, it's huge. Like, you can just sit on its back if you want to. That's how big it was. And I'm kind of convinced I want to find it on Amazon or online and order that thing. 
It looks so sick. It looks so sick. But they end up leading Lapras alongside with Frigraph here. Now, this could be tough. I could Terrasilize if I want to. Um, I could just attack. Could set up a Tailwind. I think we already got some speed cooking here, so I'm just going to go Thunderbolt into this slot. And on top of that, actually, I can't fake out. On top of that, I could Terrasilize you in the Ghost if I want to. But you know what? I'm just going to go for a knockoff here. And just send it into this draft slot. He's going to protect Lapras. That's fine. Knockoff can do some big time damage. You could go for a Trick Room if you would like. That is definitely an option. And you might actually do that. Knockoff, how much damage are we doing? A lot. Almost enough. That would be a great KO. Knockoff, it's Psychic Seeds. He's going to pop the Trick Room. So Trick Room comes out here. They have a little bit of speed on their side. Um, huh. I might just pick up a KO on the free graph here. They might terrestrialize Lapras. I'm gonna do this and do I knock off item or do I just hard swap into like Hydreigon here? I could parting shot. Now you know we're gonna do this and just knock off Lapras's item. We're not dealing with it. Because Lapras might terrestrialize. I really don't want to go into a Thunderbolt while this thing terrestrializes. So I'd rather just like kinda do like a flip flop here. Flip flop here. And uh see how this one plays out. Yep, there's a withdrawal. Good call for us. Great call from Jeans. Great call from Jeans. And he's gonna go into. Whose item are we taking off? Give me Cleavor. The second noise comes through here. Don't really like that. Wow, that actually did an insane amount of damage. This thing's built to attack. Knockoff gonna launch and do respectable damage. Great damage there. Get rid of its life orb as well. It's huge. And then Thunderbolt flies. Kilowatch will pick it up its first KO of the video. Get it on out my face. That's not bad for us. That is not bad for us. The so one thing I am scared of is a rock move flying in from Incineroar. Or flying into Incineroar and KO on him. So now might be the turn to Terrasilize. Or we could hard swap into like Golden Go and save our Pokemon. Um, what would I like to do here? Definitely want to protect you. We're going to protect the bird. And I think we Terrasilize and then we just dump on this. I like it. I'm down for this. Little Ghost Terror. Yeah, I'm down for this. I'm so down for this. If I can use my Terrestrialization just to pick up another KO, that's just so big. That is just massive. Plus, we're facing two Pokemon that are super effective onto Incineroar. Rock and Water, so that's something I don't want to deal with. We end up protecting the bird, keeping this thing alive for a little bit longer. He's going to end up going for a Muddy Water, which is a little scary. Can you miss my Incineroar? Nope, you landed. Do not get the accuracy drop. That's respectable damage. And we're actually outspeeding the Cleaver. And we don't pick up the KO there? Oh, that hurts. That hurts. That really hurts. That really hurts. So to be honest, like, if you're going for that, I mean, swapping into you is our best bet here. And then just going for a knockoff to finish off Cleaver. I'm surprised that one didn't KO. The first one did way more damage. Got a low roll on that on that knockoff. Really sucks, right? <laughs> like I was I was ready to KO that thing. So I'm gonna keep my seagull alive. I'm pretty sure it's not a seagull. But I'm gonna keep it alive and I'm just hard swapping it. And they're hard swapping the Lapras, which actually works really well for us because I'm gonna be able to pick up a KO no problem unless they protect Cleaver. Which there is a chance here. There definitely is a chance. There definitely is a chance. We swap the bird. We go into our dragon. Who they're going to fake out next turn, which I might hard swap into like Golden Go after that. And Knockoff's going to pick up the KO. Beautiful. Lovely. Awesome. Dope. Cool. All right. Now it turns into a 4v2. We still have every Pokemon that we started off with. My Incineroar is slowly getting back some HP. Um, and they're going to go into back into Lapras. So, I mean, I'm cool with this. Like... If you fake out the Hydreigon, you fake out the Hydreigon, no big deal. I'm still going to double down into this, uh, into this roll boom and just attack that. I think that's, that's our best play. So I'll go Flare Blitz. I will go Dark Pulse. If they fake out Hydreigon, they fake out Hydreigon. Flare Blitz should still be able to maybe KO, depending on how this or roll boom is built. They still have Terra too, which we haven't seen popped out yet. So now would be a turn that they would send it. And here it is. Roll boom Terra. Real boom Fire Terra. Lapras Terra with fire. Fire Lapras coming out here. 
Fire Lapras. Getting after it. With a terror type. Free Shrag gonna launch through here. Can we soak this? You soak it. Cool. So really big damage. Flare Butt's gonna launch. No fake out, which is odd. And Flare Butt's picks up the KO, so this pretty much just puts us in a position to win this game. Bye bye, Roboom. Lapras take this choice spec. Dark Pulse right to the mitt. And how much damage are we doing here? Pretty good damage, considering it's it's, a, it's up against Lapras, right? Lapras is just an absolute bull. And now Trick Room is gone, which is huge. We're choosing the Dark Pulse, we're gonna send that, and just spam knockoff. Just spam the knockoff. Dark Pulse doing good damage. I don't think knockoff can KO. It does, it does, good, cool, awesome. <laughs> there it is, ladies and gentlemen, 2-0 oh to get this video started. Let's go hop into our third and final match. Look, use the bird a little bit more. Third and final match is here, and we have ourselves a perfect situation for Killer Watch. We're going up against a rain squad. Bring in the bird as our lead. Absolutely love to sing up against the team that we are versing. They also have Iron Hands. They got Toxic Croak, Rotom Wash, Walking Wake Pelper, and Palafin. So chances are they're going to lead Palafin. Maybe just hard swap it out, kind of go from there. I mean, Robum could be a solid lead for us just because fake out purposes are huge. Um, and maybe we could set up a Tailwind from there. So yeah, I'm going to go Robum. Killer Watch will here for our lead. In the back end, Gold to go could be. Eh. eh. I don't really like make it rain here, but Shadow Ball could be good. Hydreigon's gonna be a nice late game Pokemon. And do we go Primarina? Just because of all these water types. Primarina could be good, because considering it has Moonblast, it can combine boost. Yep, that's it. The bird and Rillaboom for our lead with Primarina and Hydreigon in the back end. Go looking for a 3 0 perfect record. We're sitting 2 0. Got two wins under our belt. But. The first match we didn't use the bird. Second match we actually used the bird a little bit. We had to swap it in and out, kind of control that match. Did get off a nice little KO with Thunderbolt, which was big for us. But then they end up going Pelipper and Walking Wake. So weather is here. We need to try to set up a Tailwind. I think going into Fake Out into Walking Wake is definitely what we want to do. They could go for Hurricane and a Robum, which is like a scary situation. And I mean, I have Fire Terror, which is also scary to do. So you know what? I'm just not even gonna Terra. I'm going to go into a Tailwind, and I'm just going to fake out this Walking Wake. Who, honestly, I think protects, but I think we have to fake it out. Because if it doesn't protect, it just gets off a ridiculous amount of damage that I really can't handle. So I'm going to set up this Tailwind, and he just withdraws Walking Wake. I knew, I knew he was doing something. I knew he was doing something. He's going to end up going into Iron Hands here. Iron Hands comes out here. Fake out going to launch, do about negative five. And Tailwind... Get some speed control for us. So he's probably gonna do the same thing next turn, set up a tailwind. Unless you're doing it this turn. No, he's doing it this turn. So we go tailwind for tailwind. A little bit of double tailwind action. And I really am curious to see who he fakes out because Iron Hands I knew was gonna be the big threat for us. I'm gonna go Thunderbolt. Um, I go for U turn pivot. I do a vest. I'm gonna go for U-turn pivot into Pelper. He's gonna end up faking out the little room. So fake out Hurricane, probably the play. Thunderbolt does launch. You're probably sashed, right? You're not sashed. That's huge. That's great. That's awesome. Bye bye Pelper. That's actually massive for us. I really thought you were gonna be sashed. That's really big for us just to pick up a KO like that. So again, Iron Hands is the main threat that we're going up against. He's super strong, super bulky, and it has great typing up against the Pokemon that I did bring. Walking Way comes back out. Um, And Kilowatt, are you faster than Walking Wake? Walking Wake's fast. 194, you should be faster than him. A quick little Pokemon. Um, I'm going to launch a Thunderbolt. And you know what? I'm going to go for a Wood Hammer and just double down this Walking Wake slot. No way, it protects. Not a shot. Not a shot that this, this thing protects right here. Oh, can I get a Paralyze here as well? That'd be awesome. Give me Paralyze. No Paralyze. Shrek Meteor launches. I don't think we're soaking that. We do soak that. Special attack is dropping. Woodhammer flies. Should KO. Actually, both Pokemon should die. Recoil. Walking Wake. There goes Walking Wake. And survive. It does survive. I still have Focus Ash, so this is good. And he's just going to Drain Punch finish me off. And that's honestly more so why the reason I want to survive is, is I was hoping that he was targeting down Rollboom just so I can keep my Kilowattro and the Focus Ash on the field. 
So from here, I still have Primarina. I do have Terra for Primarina, which could be pretty good. Um, chances are he wants to go for an electric move, and now would be the best time for me to just like Terrastalize into Moonblast. And no shot. Palafin's his final Pokemon, and it's not even in his hero form. That is crazy. So we kind of ruined his plans. I guess he wanted to bring out Palafin earlier, and it just didn't work. So I'm just going to go for a Thunderbolt. I am going to Terrastalize into Steel. And I am going to go for a Moonblast, just looking to chunk up some damage into this Pokemon. No shot. They just have Palafin in its little dolphin form. In its zero form. That's honestly hilarious. <laughs> it's honestly so funny. He threw it out here, just no hero form. Kind of funny. So Palafin's going to end up protecting. We are dropping a Thunderbolt in that slot. Maybe I should have went for a Combine this turn, but I think you got to go after Primarina with like a wild, a wild charge, right? I think you have to. And she's doing monstrous damage. Is that crit? No, you go for Thunder Punch. That's perfect. I'm able to soak that. Oh, but of course you get to paralyze. Of course you get to paralyze. Of course you get to paralyze. Hmm. My play here to set up another Tailwind. Just so Primarina can outspeed. It might be. You know what? It is going to be that. I'm just going to go for Hyper Voice. Yeah, I'm going to set up another Tailwind here. Another lovely Tailwind. Maybe I should have just attacked, but... Yeah, they're going to Terrastalize that Palafin. And now it's going to be Iron Hands. What typing going into? Fighting. Yeah, he wants to KO me here and get back HP. But I'm setting up the Tailwind so my Primarina can outspeed even though it's paralyzed. And he's gonna go for Jet Punch, which we soak. <gasps> we live on one. We live on one! This little dolphin is still packing a punch in the rain. So there goes the Tailwind. And it just ruined everything. Just ruined everything for me. Just ruined everything. And there goes Drain Punch into my Kilowattrel. No, it's into you. And at least he's not getting back any HP because now I can just attack that thing with a uh, Thunderbolt. KO Iron Hands. And really, we got the one turn. The one turn. I was just like, as long as we're not paralyzed, we pretty much just win this game. And then that happens, and we're just sitting terribly. Awesome. Just what I wanted. But Thunderbolt will now KO the Iron Hands. They don't have Terra for the uh, for the Dolphin. I still have Focus Ash. And I'm going to take care of the, uh, the Iron Hands before anything. So I'll go for, actually, an Air Slash would be better for us. Actually, Thunderbolt would be better. Accuracy, I'm not dealing with it. I'm not dealing with it. And we'll choice to a Dark Pulse into the Palafin. Choicing into Dark Pulse. But yes, the bird in match number three comes out on top. Really thriving in this match. Just staying on the field the whole time. Picking up a lot of KOs. Might have picked up every KO. I'm trying to think. KO'd the Iron Hands. KO'd the Pelipper. I can't remember the, the other Pokemon that we KO'd. And it's going to outspeed to be able to KO the Palafin. And here comes Wave Crash. Actually, you might KO yourself here. So we're going to focus Ash up, and Recoil is probably going to KO you on that. Let's see. No, you survive. You survive. Now you can Jet Punch me. How dare you? How dare you? And to be honest, I'm just going to protect. You are not KO. Yo, why Why was Kilowattle just staring at the screen like that? Yo, rewind this 10 seconds and look at Kilowattle. Someone timestamped that. Things just staring at me right in the face. But... Like I was saying, Kilowattle or Palafin's definitely going to jet punch the Kilowattle, so I'm just going to protect it. Because you're not KO my bird. I, you're, you're not KO my bird. I simply won't allow it. I simply won't allow it. Yeah, there it is. Easy read. Stay off my bird. It's my bird. Kilowattle here to play. Dark Pole's going to fly out here. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Another 3-0 perfect record. We're killing it on the casual ladder. So guys, a couple videos ago, I said that I want to showcase Kilowattle on the channel. And today, I finally got my hands on a Kilowattle team, and it went perfectly. 3-0 perfect record, pairing up with all these meta Pokemon. This team was super strong. To be honest, you guys could probably rent this team right now and just save it for Regulation H. But it's full of meta Pokemon that you guys can just, like, push Master Tier with no problem. I really do feel like this team is going to be super strong when uh, Regulation H drops. So maybe we'll revisit it. Maybe we'll do another video when rank comes. You never know. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.